Yo, what's up guys? It's Mac and I'm back in another video. Today, I've got some preseason matches for the Indigo League of Legends. The way the preseason works is we get four matches. The schedule was just kind of randomized. Four matches versus other league players. And uh, basically, we get to just try out our mons and see what it goes. I'm not going to be really team building for each game. I'm more so testing out the mons of my team and trying not to give up any, like, secret sets that I might want to run and show off any like hidden moves that stuff can learn like coverage wise and stuff like that. I'm more so playing it safe and just seeing how it goes but this um, I'm gonna be doing two per video because we're doing four within a two week period so this one and then my battle versus I think DRB will also be in this video but um, this is versus my friend Andy um, Andy is in the league. He was Will Drew Q back in the day on YouTube. He still has a YouTube channel. You can go look it up. Um, but yeah, basically, I didn't really team plan, but I wanted to try some stuff out. One thing I wanted to try out for sure is um, I wanted to use the Sand Rush Stoutland because I felt like it put a bunch of pressure on his team if I could just maybe get rid of the Diancie. I really didn't think he would bring the um, the Tyrantrum which ended up being kind of a problem, but not really, because Charizard outspeeds it, and at plus one can kill it. Also, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to, um, I wanted to throw the illusion that I was going to run offensive Meowstic at some point, so I've got female Meowstic, but I'm not really going to go into the team that much. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what's going on. But yeah, so he leads with Diancie. I'm so lit, and I lead with my Hippowdon. I immediately wanted to get Sand up on his team, and there wasn't really anything that I wanted to do against him. I go for the Toxic on turn one um, because I knew that he wasn't Mega, and he goes for the sub, which is a really good play. And then he starts Calm Mining. I'm like, why would you Calm Mine with... It doesn't make any sense. So I Earthquake, and I break the sub. Uh, he's going to get a little bit of leftovers recovery, and then he's going to Calm Mind again, which I don't understand, because Earthquake is going to put a ton of offensive pressure on him. That does so much damage. Hippowdon has a really good attack stat for being a wall. So now he's forced to go to Moonblast, and that Moonblast literally did nothing. Um, I think he forgot how bulky Hippowdon did, and that was just just not a good start for him. He went for he uh, he switched into Trevenant, and I didn't want anything of that. So I go into Reuniclus, which I brought specifically for the Trevenant. It is a Magic Guard Reuniclus. I brought that specifically so I wouldn't die to the stupid Leech Seed shenanigans and stuff. So um, I ended up um, Calm Mining up right there because I thought that he would go for the Shadow Claw, which I knew I could take. I'm physically offensive. I mean. Sorry, I'm physically defensive, as you see from that Outrage damage. That is Banded Outrage that I am able to uh, uh, take two of and return KO. A Reuniclus is a lot more bulky than people think. And uh, he's going to bring an Arcanine, and I, I don't really have a um, super good switch in for this thing, so I'm just going to let Reuniclus go down. But it does allow me to bring in Charizard. He can't really touch me, so I am able to Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance once, and he brings in the Claydol. After I Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance, if you look at his team, he really doesn't have anything. He has he uh, he's able to minus my attack once with a Mega Evolution from the Manectric, but even so, and then I I, I I guess the Arcanine too, but um I can just go for Dragon Claws and at, at that point I do see this isn't gonna two KO him, and I do find out he's not offensive by the fact that he goes for the Extreme Speed. Um, or I mean, the, uh, sorry, the Morning Sun. Um, I, I Dragon Dance up again because now I know that I can, um, I'm able to outspeed him. And if he goes for E-Speed, he can't kill me. So I Roost up and we're basically in a situation where um, I can I can Dragon Dance and it'll be over. Um, I can do pretty much whatever I want at this point. He's not able to kill me with Arcanine. Um, if he switches, I get up another Dragon Dance or I hit, like whatever comes in. It's just it's just a really, really bad situation. All he has left is Manectric, Arcanine, and Trevenant. Um, all three of which uh, kind of go down. I mean, he gets he gets two KO'd by um, by Dragon Claw at this point from from Charizard X. So it's I mean, there's no point in him Morning Sun stalling me. It, it's just a preseason match. So he saw the power. He made a couple bad plays, but I promise you, Andy's not. He's 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 really not a bad battler. I think he was more so taking um, the first game of the preseason very lightly and just kind of threw a team together really quick. But um, that was the first match. Um, and uh. Hope you guys like that, and I'll be back in a second with the second match. Uh, goodbye. Yo, what's up, guys? All right, so I've got the second battle from the preseason. This is against Director DRB. I will have the link to his channel, Full Restore, in the description below. But basically, against him, 
Um, I saw something really, really funny in the team preview, actually, when I was, like, looking at all the mons that he drafted. And he has, like, nine, eight or nine mons that die to offensive Aselgore, like Life Orb, like Max Special Attack Aselgore. So I really, really wanted to sweep with Aselgore. Um, I ran Kelks for Slowbro, and I ran Kelks for Feraligator. Um, you'll find out later, I didn't run calcs for one mon well i didn't run calcs for a lot but there was one in particular that i just for whatever reason i just figured i would ko and i didn't so um but uh yeah so that was that was basically the whole plan of this game was um i thought he would bring like i i predicted slow bro i predicted victini i predicted tangrowth i predicted raikou um, and I predicted Weavile. I didn't know if Gator would come, but I thought that Gator might. I, th I th thought maybe Gator, maybe Crobat. And if he didn't bring um, Victini, I thought Crobat would be in that slot too. But um, I brought uh, the same Charizard X as every single game because that Charizard X set is fucking godly. Um, I brought Brocasso. Oh, God. Sorry. Um, Brocasso. Brocasso, the Smeargle, um, simply because Rocks allowed me to... Um, one shot for alligator with an energy ball and it also made it for certain that i could one shot slow bro um even if it was mega with a bug buzz so i wanted to be able to do that because um again the ma the name of the game is to sweep with the cell gore i also um the reason i chose brocasso over my other rock setters is because i also wanted sticky web if i could get it because if i can get up sticky web it means that i do outspeed scarf teeny which is huge and uh, I, I, I thought that um, outspeeding Scarftini would be uh, one of the hardest things that I could deal with. I mean, did, if you look at my team, my team doesn't really do that well against Victini, so, uh, besides Charizard X. So I really wanted to be able to outspeed that, so that was another thing. I brought um, Assault Vest, I think, Reuniclus. I can't remember. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It doesn't even come out in the battle, so you're not going to see it. Um, I brought uh, Spirit Tomb, which was my Will-O-Wisp Infestation Protect Pain Split, super annoying, um, specially defensive set. And then I brought uh, kind of um, specially defensive Shaman because I thought one of the few things I wasn't able to kill with the Selgor was the Raikou. So I wanted to be able to bring a, a, a for sure check to the Raikou. And that for sure check to the Raikou... No, no, no. I, all right. I brought physically defensive Reuniclus because I wanted to be able to kill the Crobat. Um, so that's why I brought physically defensive Reuniclus. But um, for Shaman, um, I brought Earth Power, Max, Spideff, Shaman so that I could not be 3 KO'd by Choice Specs, Raikou. Um, I didn't want to be 3 KO by that, and I wanted a 2 KO back with Earth Power, so I brought the necessary shenanigans to do that. And Seed Flare, and Aromatherapy, and Sub. Um, and then with a Selgor, I just brought U-Turn, Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, and some attack I didn't even use. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this, I guess. Round 1, I, I mean, I'm going to start off with Smeargle. Um, he starts out with John Cena, and I, I wasn't sure, I was kind of scared to go for the King Shield, honestly, because I thought he would sub. Um, because, I mean, sub teeny would be scary as fuck. But he just goes for the V-Create, which kind of shows me what he is. And then he Willows. Um, I think he maybe predicted a switch right there. Um, I'm not sure what. Uh, but I, I was able to get up my, um, my Sticky Webs. I honestly didn't think I would outspeed him. And before I wasted a turn on him switching into Tangrowth, I wanted to make sure and get up my rocks. So I got up my rocks. And then as soon as I got up my rocks, I put the Zack Ryder, the slow bro, to sleep. And I wanted to keep this Brocasso later because I knew that um, in order for me to set up my sweep with my Aselgor, I would need to sack something. So I wanted to keep that Brocasso around to sack something. Um, Zack Ryder is going to sit there and wake up on turn two, I think, or turn three, one of the two. But um, I went for a sub with Bonnie, and I am special defensive um, Shaman, so I am able to live that. And he's going to bring in Elias Samson. And uh, I get some pretty good hacks right here. Um, it ends up, it ends up, it, it definitely evening out. But I get the Spideff drop the first turn with my um, Seed Flare, and then I go ahead and I miss the second one because Bonnie is cross-eyed. Um, the thing behind Bonnie is, if you didn't watch the team analysis video from when I drafted, Bonnie actually looks like the reason I'm talking is because I'm gonna miss a bunch in a row. But um, the reason. Uh, that I named it Bonnie is because uh, literally my mom's dog looks exactly like Shaman in that form. It's so cute. But I finally hit with my stupid seed flare and I take down Samson. Um, he kept predicting me with those different moves. He kept predicting a switch because he thought that um, I was some sort of 
stuck in shaman variant and i wouldn't be able to touch him again he predicts my switch he predicts me to think he's gonna hidden power ice and go into like charizard or um something like that so he goes uh he goes for the thunderbolt or max damage on something else that i would happen to switch into but i don't really care at this point i have my rocks i've damaged the raikou and i feel like i'm just gonna sweep him because i can one shot everything on his team with my Selgor. So um, at that point, I switch out and I sack Brocasso. I bring in Final Gambit. Uh, the name was just to throw people off. And I kill him with a Bug Buzz. So that's going to go down. He's going to bring in the Gator now. And the great thing about the Speed Drop and the... Um, um, and the rocks is that he can't really touch me. Like there's there's pretty much no way. I kill him with the the uh, the Energy Ball, and he goes into John Cena. Okay, I <laughs> I really 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 thought. Bug Buzz would kill John Cena. I thought it was super effective. I thought it was. I'm so dumb. I don't know why I thought it was. I am. I don't know. I. I just. I. I don't know. But I was. I was. I was really, really, really heartbroken. I didn't get the sweep right there. But um, on my Mega Evolution and on my D Dance, he is going to switch. I figured there was no way that he would stay in. Um, he would go into Zack Ryder, which I was okay with because I knew I could 2K own with Dragon Claw. However. He is red card and brings out Bonnie. So he's in, instead of T waving my dragon clawing um, Charizard X, he is going to uh, T T wave my Bonnie. So I'm going to aromatherapy and get rid of that because I predicted him to switch into Victini on that turn, and I knew that I would be able to kill it because he doesn't know what this. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Um, because I have Earth Power, and I am specially defensive, uh, but I still outspeed after the. Um, uh, after Sticky Whips, because we saw earlier he wasn't Scarfed. But I miss another Seed Flare, but then I hit the next one. And now he goes into Brad Maddox, and I really didn't feel like it was necessary for me to just sack Bonnie. I know Differential doesn't matter, but um, I team builded like it was preseason, but I played like it was... I don't know. Um, I'm, I, I, I played like it was the season, except for me not actually looking to see if it would kill Victini or not, I just assume. But I go out into my Lara Croft, my Spear Tomb, and I really thought that um, it wouldn't do that much damage, the knockoff, and it did a shit ton of damage. It wasn't a crit or anything. It just did a clean 70% to my freaking spirit tomb. That was crazy. But um, I'm able to go out and exhibit now that this thing, this thing is burned, and uh, I can just Dragon Claw and kill the last two mons. But so far, the preseason looking good. The regular season will start next Wednesday. I will have one more video up with two more preseason battles for you guys. The next team will have more mons, like I believe uh, Mian Shao and Stoutland will finally get a... Hopefully, we'll see how much they get to use. Both of these first two matches were pretty quick. Um, mini sweeps and sweeps. There was the mini sweep by Selgor and then the uh, final mini sweep by Exhibit. But um, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are excited for Rustboro City Stoners, Indigo League of Legends battles. And uh, be sure to check out the two people that I battled today. I'll leave their links in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye.